<laughs> ah, this, this is a brilliant event. We finally have some information, and uh, Phases put out a bunch of information on this today, so I want to go through that as well as some of the other things that we've come up against. So, uh, yes, this was the next brilliant event. Finally, after a whole month without them, we get another brilliant event, another chance for Green Books, and it will be coming October the 8th. Um, I believe it will be starting Pacific Time at 11 a.m. That's the fairly normal, so it would be 1 p.m. where I am at, or 2 p.m. if you're on the East Coast, um, and this will be on on October the 8th, this coming Tuesday. And one of the big things is that they've changed uh, quite a bit around and they've made several key changes that I think are very, very smart. So I want to get into these and show you what all is coming up. To do this, I'm going to take you over to the Wizards Unite hub, and uh, I really want to go through here. Uh, this, is, this is a great amount of information. I'm going to be putting a link to this in the description below, so definitely go over here and, and take a look at it. There's some far more detail on here that I'm going to be able to cover in this video. Number one, this will be a two-week session, so just like we had before when there's a, a two-week brilliant event, there's phase one, and then there is phase two, and most of the things that are available in phase one will also be available in phase two, but the things that are available in phase two will only be available in phase two. And again, if if you miss any of this, you're missing out. Uh, this will probably never happen again. This brilliant event is focusing on the fighting forces, and this will be at Malfoy Manor. So uh, we've got some fun things coming up. It is Dark Arts Month, and so we are focusing on the Dark Arts here. Again, the time will be October 8th through October 4th, uh, 2 p.m. Eastern Time or 11 a.m. Uh, Pacific Time. And then you'll have to figure out that wherever you are around the world because it all starts at the exact same time around the world. So everyone's starting at the same time. Let's start off with the port key. There is going to be a, a port key for this. And originally, Phases said that the port key is going to be a different location. And I've heard a few people saying it's going to be at Borgen and Burks. I've had a few other people saying, no, it's going to be at Malfoy Manor. I've heard a few other things saying it's one way or the other. I have not heard clear information of exactly where this port key will take us. And this could be kind of fun. Once I do get one of those port keys opened, I will be doing an exploration video where I'll be up on the ladder and actually going around and seeing the port key from all sides. We will be getting a free pack that will include energy and one free red book the most valuable item you can possibly get in the game. They'll be giving one to you free, so make sure you get on that on Tuesday. And one of the big key changes is right here, 25% reduced brewing time on Estimulo potions and on healing potions. So they are expecting you to use more of these. Um, this will really help you if you want to do more challenges and, and, and uh, fortress battles. So you'll be able to brew up more of these far easier and far quicker, but this will also help you for something we'll be talking about a little bit later. If you do everything in the assignments, which I'll be getting to those in a minute, you will be getting 15 restricted section books, those beautiful green books, and you'll be getting three more spell books. So in total for this, with the free one you'll be getting and all of the challenges, you'll be getting four more red books. Um, that is a great change. There will also be a bunch of lenses and stickers and things like that for your ministry ID. So if that is something that intrigues you, um, read through the list if you are the person who likes those. According to Brita, all of the information from these assignments comes directly from phases, and so they are trustworthy and true. Um, I haven't heard, gotten that word personally, but uh, if Brita's saying this, it is golden. So hopefully these will not be changing. These are the list of assignments that we will actually be getting on Tuesday. I'm going to be skipping the assignments. I'll come to the, back to those here in a minute. I actually want to come down here and talk about the foundables that we're going to be getting because this is one of the big changes. They're not just the same foundables that you can get in your registry, but spangly. They're actually releasing completely different foundables that you'll be able to encounter in the wild, which I think is huge. So it's a lot more programming and work on their part, but we'll get something completely different in a wild foundable. Particularly, we'll be getting the brilliant Death Eater and the brilliant Azkaban Escapee. And the cool thing about these is these will be just like oddities. So you will be in the wild and you'll have to fight them. There won't be things where you are just casting spells at them and hoping they stick. They're pretty much a guaranteed catch. Um, so you, you're going to be attacking them just like any other oddity. So that probably means on average you're going to be using less energy and you'll have a pretty much a guarantee on getting them. So yes, this is, this is a really cool thing. I love this. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm beside myself because I love the idea of getting these as oddities. 
Next, we're going to have the Brilliant Malfoy Crest. And you'll be able to get this in Wizarding Challenges if you use the Brilliant Runestone. Um, usually, it's like a 1 in 3 chance, 1 in 4 chance that you actually get this one. Um, go higher up in the chambers, and you'll get a better chance of getting this reward from the chambers. And you'll need to get 3 fragments in order to complete it. The next two will have the Mask and the Prisoner of Azkaban number. Both of these you will get through the tasks and the assignments, which will actually cover those in a little bit. So once you complete all the assignments, you will have both of these. And then our last one comes from Port Keys, the Brilliant Ollivander in Chains, which is kind of cool. This is referencing the latest video, and it's kind of interesting to see how that comes in. You'll need five of those in order to complete it. So you have to open five brilliant port keys in order to get that. Next, let's come back up here and look at the quests. Number one, the first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to use a tonic for trace detection. Now, if you don't have one, try and brew one up now if you can get that horn. Uh, if you can't get the horn, it's actually cheaper to buy the whole tonic than it is to buy the uh, ingredients for it. Um, unless you're just missing the horn, it's actually cheaper to go to the store and buy the tonic outright than the ingredients. You're going to need to defeat three oddities. Uh, so hopefully this means that you can actually get the brilliant encounters because they're treated as oddities. So you'll be able to get those counting towards it. And then you'll have to defeat three brilliant Death Eaters. Uh, and you complete all of these, you're going to be getting two more green books. And then, of course, one more spell book. Eee, red books, happiness. On to the next section. You're going to have to brew four potions. So make sure you have empty slots in your cauldron or go ahead and rent the cauldron and you'll have four more slots ready to go there. Defeat three brilliant prisoner of Azkaban escapees, just like you had to de defeat the Death Eaters. And then you're going to have to use five healing potions. So if you are a professor, this may be a little bit harder. Um, I'm actually planning at this stage to then go to a fortress chamber and then go through something high where I have to use the healing potions. Um, for if you are a lower level person, then you may already have need for healing potions because you're going to be doing a lot of encounters. Big rewards for this one, you're going to get three more green books and one more red book. And one of the reasons why I was thinking about going to the wizarding challenge here for using the five healing potions is we come down here and the very next thing we have to do after that is do four wizarding challenges. So if I'm already at a wizarding challenge for this and I do a high level where I really need the healing potions, then I can come down here and do four of regular chambers where I'm not going to need as many potions and complete this step. Then the next step is getting three of the Malfoy family crests when you use your brilliant runestones. So you're going to be getting those in your wizarding challenges. Chances are you're going to have to do more than four challenges in order to get those. So this is the, the stage where you're going to be at the wizarding challenges. Use five of stimulo potions. Well, yeah, you're probably going to be needing those in the challenges. So this phase number three, you're going to be want you're going to wanting to find a fortress. If you do have a sponsored fortress, it's usually better to go there, especially with the new energy you get at sponsored fortresses. That is kind of a nice place to play. And for all of that, you're going to be getting three more green books. <laughs> On to the last section here, you're going to have to defeat six more oddities. So leave your fortresses and go and get several more of the oddities. Those are probably going to be easiest with getting the brilliant event items. Then number two, you're going to have to open one of the brilliant event port keys. So if you have one that's ready, don't actually open it. Hold on to it until this point, and then you can open it and use it here. And then you're going to have to return four more dark arts traces. So for dark arts traces, you're probably going to want to find a local bank. And keep one in mind that is close to your fortress, so you can go do the fortresses in section three, and then you can keep on coming down here and use the dark arts to uh, get your last four traces. And once you complete that, then you'll get the five more restricted section books and one more red book, happiness. So a couple quick tips as you're coming into this. Uh, when you need to brew four potions, either you can have the empty spaces in your cauldron or you can sit on the items. And when they're actually brewing, they don't actually count until you click them. So if you have all four of them brewed up and they're all circling around the cauldron waiting for you to click them, you can hold off on that, though that drives me absolutely bonkers. Um, so that might make it a little bit easier if you have them already brewed up and you just need to click them to get them. That, uh, that might make this a little bit faster. Again, phase three is all about fortresses. So at the end of phase two, when you need those healing potions and then into phase three, get to a good place with fortresses. And then after that, you're going to be wanting to find a place with your dark arts. So somewhere around a bank with that type of thing. Now, if you're looking for oddities, though, you're probably going to want to stay out of the flagged zones. Uh, because you have a better chance of getting other foundables. You have a better chance of getting regular oddities and the brilliance. Um, I'm assuming that the brilliance will count towards oddities. 
as they are being treated as oddities, but because they are not specific oddities, I don't know for sure that they will actually count to that. In which case, you may want to hold off on this until dawn or dusk when the oddities are far more common, and then you can defeat your six oddities during those time frames. But I'm assuming that the brilliance will actually count as oddities as you battle them as oddities. So I don't know about you, but I'm really getting excited about this Brilliant event. Not only has it been a while since we've had a Brilliant event, but this one is, seems like they've, they've, they've kind of honed it down a little bit better and done a better job of this. I would love to hear your ideas. What have they done better on this? What do you think they've missed the mark on? Do you think there's something they can do better? Um, especially with what do you think is going to be happening with the second phase of the Brilliant event? And, and keep in mind that the wild encounters you're coming across in the first half will still be available later. And all of the port keys you collect now will still give you the reward from the first half. They will not give you the reward from the second half. So you're going to have to use up all of your Brilliant port keys now so that you have space when the second half rolls around and then you can get the port keys for that. So make sure you're completing everything now for this half so you're freed up to complete the second half when that opens up later. All of a sudden, out of the blue, so much fun going down and I am really getting excited about Tuesday. So yes, happiness. Uh, <laughs> I hope you like this. If you did, please hit like, comment, share, subscribe, ring the bell. <laughs> Those make me smile. I just do a lot of things. So thank you for that. That really does mean a lot to me and it really helps the channel grow on. That's about it for today, and until next time, have a magical day. For tonight's special engagement, we're actually opening up the last of the keychains from Water Lily. So she sponsored these. She sent three of them to the channel, and she wanted the shout out to go to Pokey Fodder. So definitely take a look at his channel. I'll leave a link to that down below. He is one of the premier WooTubers out there and does some really good work on it. So let's actually open this up and see which one we've gotten. In the past, we've gotten Nagini, and we got the Diadem, and today... We're fighting against a box. We got we got something in this little thing right here. Ooh, ooh, oh, oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. We got the Elder Wand. Oh, that is cool. The Elder Wand keychain. Okay, I'm really, really happy. This is this is really cool. Thank you for the excitement on this water lily. You are an amazing fan of the channel, and uh, don't forget to be awesome.